wanna be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'ma be the best. Hi, welcome to a video where I give a recommendation for Dhanteras, which is tomorrow. Here's a disclaimer that no way am I trying to brag when I'm showing the jewelry pieces to you. It has taken us years. Papa ko to has taken decades to come to this point where he could buy us jewelry. And even for me, it has taken years and years of hard work to be able to invest in these kind of pieces. My only intention is to show you some pieces that are my style, and I think you will also like them, and will be a good investment for this festive season. So the very first. thing i have to show you are these butterfly earrings now why this is the first thing i'm showing is let's go in an uh, ascending order in price range so the lighter the thing is of course the more uh, budget friendly it will be because lesser gold is used so these were around 1 to 2 grams i think i'm not very sure of the prices but that's why these were under rupees 10000 when we bought them something like this is very contemporary and again very versatile for styling the second item on the budget friendly list would be the ring that i'm wearing right now it's a very very thin band this is also under 2 grams so this will also be around 6 to 7000 rupees this looks very simple but what helps is ki you don't have to take it off for anything just before sitting down to talk to you i was doing spray painting you will see the behind the scenes footage of it as well and usme bhi maine ye nahi nikala because real gold is quite rough and tough agar main sabun laga rahi hu agar main perfume laga rahi hu kuch bhi kar rahi hu i don't have to bother about this and in case you ever want to sell it you get the full price back except the making charges and you can always get a bigger return on it as well depending on the gold rate so that is why i really like real rings because they're hassle free and always an investment talking about rings the third ring is this one which is a v shaped ring uh, it has a very small like notch at the center and uh, this is also a gold ring only upar bas ek uh, polish hai of white gold this can be very good for layering this is uh, much heavier than this one so this will be a little above 10000 maybe between 10 to 15000 because of the added gold used in it and the next item are these filigree earrings they are very very light in weight so one advantage i find at tanishka is ki they do have very very light weight wale pieces as well ab jitna gold kam use ho utna wo budget mein bhi apne baith jata hai so these earrings from what i remember are 22 carat most of the mia collection that they have uh, is in 14 Yeah, 18 carat, which is of course much less a purity. So if you're going for investment purpose more, make sure up 22 carat gold uh, ke pieces dekhe. This is more Indian, I feel personally. Ya to you know more party wear, dainty kind of a piece. I don't find this like a daily wear piece, but because of the cut work, it has a lot of elegance to it. Well, I'm talking about cut work. I found a very very lightweight. सेट विच हैज अ पेर ऑफ इिंग्स एंड अ पेंडिंग दिस डिड नॉट कम विद चेन सो आपके घर पर जो भी चेन हो यू कैन जस्ट यूज दैट विद दिस बिकॉज इट्स अ लाइट वेट इट वॉज अ लिटल बिट ऑन द अफोर्डेबल साइड कम्पेयर टू जितने के सेट्स आते हैं मार्केट में एंड दिस वन फ्रॉम वॉट आई रिमेंबर वॉज अराउंड इन द ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी थाउजेंड के बीच वाले रेंज में mostly very dainty and kaan mein bilkul bhi weight feel nahi hota so if you have sensitive ear lobes this will be good for you one tip i have is ki please kharidne ke baad page check karna kyunki iske page mein problem tha like once i came back home wo band nahi ho raha tha so we had to go back and get it fixed like unko thoda kuch ghisai karni padi thi and then it shuts now so after you pay the bill and before you leave the showroom make sure you check the page of every item that you bought and the final ring we have is this three piece ring set which had also seen on riturati uh, the proud mother of two daughters now very congratulations to her on the birth of pihu so this actually comes as a set only aap single ring nahi le sakte the at least from when i had bought it and the best part is ki this looks beautiful layered together as well and at the same time if you wear it in different fingers it still looks great that way as well now because these are three rings i think this was around the 30000 range again but please don't quote me on any prices what i'm trying to share here is more of the design because this have like kafi time ho gaya as i said saalo lage hai jewelry collection build karne mein and now we move on to chain this is the piece that started my love for jewelry iske pehle i was just least interested how like gold kon leta hai like how is this a form of investment and also basically it's this tiny pendant of a uh, diamond but the catch is it's crushed diamond crushed as in there are tiny tiny diamonds which are forming this big cluster it's not a solitaire it's not a one piece diamond and that's exactly why it was in the budget this pendant was just around rupees 10000 which is good for 
अ रियल डायमंड पीस लाइक वो नॉर्मली काफ़ी महंगे आते हैं एंड देन आई वॉन्टेड अ सिल्वर लुक बिकॉज डायमंड के साथ मुझे सिल्वर लुक काफ़ी अच्छा लगता है सो वी वेंट फॉर अ प्लेटिनम चेन द थिनेस वन दर आई कुड फाइंड ओवर दर सो अ मेजोरिटी पीपल हु आई फाइंड वेरी पॉलिश्ड आई हैव सीन देम वेयर दिस काइंड ऑफ अ नेकलेस आई हैव रियली हुक्ट ऑन टू दिस सीरीज कॉल्ड सूट्स and megan markel she starring in a tried so she wear something like this all the time of course i bought it way before i started watching suits but this design is very common and it always looks elegant it's the one timeless design out of everything now this edge pendant that is cb recently bought on dashera this year this goes with everything indian western and looks very dainty now because i went for a diamond look this cost around rupees 40000 ka range but i've seen only gold ke uh, initials as well which should cost between the 15 to 20000 range or you can get custom made as well chains can cost you anywhere from say 10000 to 20000 depending on kitna hai we you are planning to buy then we have this gold one which i think is 14 carat if i'm not wrong it has a beautiful ring which is thick at the bottom and then it has chote chote charms all through like uh, the neckline this is around 15000 rupees like it looks great in the neck because the ring is quite big then thode se traditional side mein ek ghungru wala choker hai so this is not like a proper choker that goes on the neck it just covers the neckline and there are small ghungrus all through the front and i think this is more traditional than western um but it looks very pretty like if you don't like heavy heavy necklaces and rani haar aur wo sab aapka taste nahi hai so this you can try with the modern strappy kurtis and all ye acha lagta hai ye wala expensive tha because ghungrus ye is pe jo hai na wo kafi heavy hai so ye around 25 or 30000 ka tha and lastly is this beautiful uh, gold and diamond mix wala necklace which is five petals across but the color of this is rose gold which i thought was very very different and will go with a lot of different outfits this i think was around 20000 but again for real stuff which does not like tarnish very easily i think it's a good investment when i used to buy a lot of fake jewelry easily for for styling of course so easily mera 4000 5000 ka expenditure ho hi jata tha on rings and on like layered necklaces and all of that so like if we save up and invest in these kind of pieces jo saalo saal chalenge and you can make a freaking return on it like imagine the value of all this 10 years later 10 years is also short amount of time you could pass it on to your kids and what not so it's i feel like gold jewelry is a good investment so i wanted to show you these kind of designs so that in case you're looking to shop in this budget uh, you know what you can go after now i'll get back to the shoot i want to show you how this entire place gets transformed so now we're shooting a very fun campaign around diwali for diy home decor and the final output of the things is so beautiful on the outside looking in i really wasn't sure what i was getting the major part of today's video is also done and look who we have here hello what's up <laughs> we are also going to shoot for our video which will mostly come after this video only चार से पांच साल तेरा चला है बहुत बड़ी बात है बेटा हमारा कैमरा तो कब का गिवा कर चुका है 
बट फाइनली वी आर डन विद द ट्राई ऑन पार्ट ऑफ आर कोलैब ना वे शूटिंग फॉर आर फॉर अनादर कोलैब विच इज गोन गो ऑन इंस्टाग्राम ऑन दिवाली टोटल नाइन पीपल तो वॉच आउट फॉर दैट बट बड़े मजे आए नाउ वील हैव मस्ट चीज केक्स एंड कॉफी तो वो वाइब है मुझे वो कॉफी का हिट चाहिए बस ना आर गेट ऑन एडिटिंग शी इज ऑल्सो गॉन गिव मी कंपनी फॉर द इवनिंग एंड वी सी यू टूडे ऑन यूट्यूब Okay, now it's time for the glow up. So starting with the skincare, first I'll go in with the face wash. This is the Innisfree Jeju Pomegranate Revitalizing Foam Cleanser. Its vibe is just like that simple face wash I love, foaming one only. But its lather is thicker, and it's a tad bit more moisturizing. Now I didn't know adulting came with a shortage of time for face mask. So I'm using the Innisfree Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask 2X. ज़्यादा एक्सपेरिमेंट करने मिला नहीं ओवर दीज मंथ्स बट दिस वन फेस मास्क दैट आई ट्राइड स्टोल माय हार्ट इट्स माय फेवरेट नंबर वन बट आई लाइक अबाउट दिस वन इसकी इसका एकदम पतला लेयर लगाती हूँ ना तो भी इसका इफेक्टिवनेस वैसा ही रहता है फ्रॉम डेट आई एम इम्पॉर्टेड आई यूज इट अप्रॉक्स सेवन टू एट टाइम्स एंड इतना ही होल डिग इन हुआ है सो एम गेसिंग कि ये साल लाइक ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन खत्म होने तक तो मुझे डेफिनेटली चल जाएगा तो वाइल दिस मास ड्राइज लेट इस फोट ऑन नेल्स आई नो यू मज बी शॉक की वॉट डेट आई जस्ट हेयर बिकॉज आई हैव नेवर एवर इन माई लाइफ फुट ऑन प्रेस ऑन नेल्स बट आई फील लाइक डूइंग इट दिस टाइम सो ये नेल्स एक्चुअली मम्मा हैड बॉट फॉर हर सेल्फ एंड दिस वी हैड बॉट फ्रॉम द स्टेशन फॉर वन सेवेंटी रुपीज ना इसके साथ तो ट्रेडिशनल ग्लू आया था बट आई रिसीव दीज पैचेज इन अ पी आर पैकेज एंड आई एम गो विथ दिस टेकन द ग्लू on first feeling i just felt very suffocated because it's like wearing foundation for the first time wo bhi heavy wala foundation kaise muh pe ekdam lagta hai ki bahut kuch laga diye waise i feel quite suffocated on my nails right now but as the time is passing i'm getting more accustomed to it but major problem or i phone use karne mein because for a person who's never had fake nails before i'm having to use the phone aise not aise anymore aise देखते हैं हावर्ड पैंस आउट आफ्टर द फेस मास्क आई गोन विद अ टोनर एंड टोनर में वीव गॉट टू ऑप्शन दोनों इंडस्ट्री से ही है वन इज द पोमोग्रैनेट वन एंड वन इज द जेजो वॉलकैनिक वन पोमोग्रैनेट इज मैचिंग द फेस वॉश एंड जेजो वॉलकैनिक इज विद द फेस मास्क बट आई एम हैविंग ब्रेकआउट For the first time in my life, ऐसे ऐसे pimples आ रहे हैं जो लाइक जा नहीं रहे sort of. So I'm gonna go in with this one. I formed sort of a routine कि जब हर product dry कर रहा हो तब मैं उसको time utilize कैसे करूँ So while the toner sets, I'll go in with the lip balm. This is the Vaseline Lip Tin in Cocoa Butter. My lips go through the worst phase in winter, especially in changing weather. And today they look this decent because I've moisturized it four times कल Now I'll go in with the eye serum. This is also by Innisfree. Eyes have been drying up बहुत ज़्यादा and i think it's only because of the screen time and now while this dries let me go and change my outfit now i'll go in with the clinic moisture surge this thing has taken so much of my money but it's also given me really good skin also jo glue apan ne nails mein use kiya na i looked for it on amazon and it's there for 110 rupees for 24 nails it will increase the life of your press on nails by a lot because wo glue easily nikal raha hai nails pe se bhi and it's very hassle free so uska pe i'll leave the link niche now while this dries i'll wear my earrings i have no patience i can't just sit and wait for like things to dry Let's start with the primer. I'm going to use the Elf Glow Up Primer Serum. Makeup glides more easily, 
and I feel like it stays for longer. We prime the eyes. But before that, I have to wear lenses. And why it's petrifying me in a way it has never before is I've never done this Never done this, and this could get dangerous. So, wasn't that tough? So now we prime the eyes using my concealer only. Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 20 Sand. And I also going with the uh, color corrector Abhi. This is the Elical Pro Conceal in GC990 Orange Corrector. Because if this does not dry well before I'm concealing, it will blend and it will orange tone as a final result. So it's better to apply it now. I'll go in with strokes. And by the time we do our eye makeup, it will dry. If you're an OG, you know what time it is. It's time to tape up. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to use the ELF 18 Hit Wonders. It's a very beautiful combination of shimmers and mattes. First, we'll neutralize the eyes and go in with peachy. Now, we'll slowly deepen the crease with like fun shades of brown, but I want warmer tones. So, we'll go with summer first. And now we'll go in with the final shade which is Supreme which is a very dark brown shade hai. but I think like that's going to add the final depth that we need in the outer V. I could dry out in the sun the best trick I could give you for doing eyeshadow or any makeup is jitne halke haath se karoge na utna kam blending karna padta hai because while application only you sort of blending it because you're going in with a very light hand. Person, when the outer V is completely done, I just pick up the shimmer shade that I'm feeling like. Uh, today, I think quartz is the vibe. Is and I go in with the finger only because shimmers finger se butter ke jisse apply hota hai. But it's not like a simple eyeshadow look. Mein. Currently, because my eyes are so dry, my eyelashes are no, like super fragile, so I'm not doing mascara. I'm on a no mascara phase right now. So I'm only going to go in with the eyeliner. This is the Sugar I Want You So Double Matte Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. After MAC, this is my favorite one currently. Also, this eyeshadow, hai na, this is what I meant that its mattes and shimmers are equally good. So Huda Beauty is the one brand which I saw could do this. And after Huda Beauty, ELF is the first brand I see which mattes and shimmers are equally good. In usually affordable palettes, mein ya to mattes are good and shimmers are not pigmented or the shimmers are buttery and mattes are chalky. Se hai. ELF has hit the right note with their eyeshadows. This is the eyeliner I was telling you is my favorite one. This is the MAC Liquid Last Liner. But it's sugar wala ho gaya, I think, which is hard to shift to this one. Now I'll go in with the ELF Brow and Lash Mascara, which I use only for my brows currently. This is not a a leak. Ho gaya thoda. Smile till we powdered one and a crease may chill it at the concealer. The powder will go in with the Max Studio Fix in NC25. Was powdering the rest of the face, thoda sa. Because I haven't been applying foundation a lot lately. Like I don't even conceal the spots. I feel very comfortable in it. Now for the blush, it's the L'Oreal Paris Duchess Rose um, blush. I've been using Vo technique, which is high points for the like in this motion. Oh. 
and highlighter. My base is very simple concealer, set it, uh, blush highlighter, that's it. So I did bring a wet sponge up my betty thi, but now it's dry, ho chuka hai, so I don't think sponge se aaj itna acha result milega. The highlighter is Mary Luminizer by the Balm. It's a cult favorite highlighter. And I know why. Becca ke baad, like champagne pop ke baad, ye mera favorite hai. And on my lips goes a very very special lipstick which is the Verified Lipsticks by Anam. The formulation of these lipsticks is so beautiful. They stay for so long. They're very very comfortable to wear and the shade range is a dream. So on my lips today I'm mixing Monday and Boop because Monday is my favorite shade. It's a perfect brownie nude but Boop is a little darker which will suit the festive seasons of mixing both. I got a PhD. We're all done. Diwali outfit and I know what you're thinking that pink wala kaha gaya? So that one is actually too long for me to wear it at home because it's looks like a and secondly because it was so long ki even after wearing heels when I shot outdoors uspe mitti lag gai hai. I have to get it clean before I actually wear it first this is finally my outfit which I'm also very very happy about because why why na? and this actually has a jacket style dupatta along with this I'm gonna wear these juttis which are from tinsel toes they're very pretty and they go exactly with the outfit because of the color and the work on it the look and this video i hope that even if you're not getting to celebrate diwali that much this video could put you in a little bit of a festive vibe if you enjoyed watching it then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you did not enjoy watching this video then that's give it a thumbs down but i just want to wish you a very very happy diwali and only the best wishes growth and prosperity for you and your family from us i'll see you very very soon in a brand new video until then goodbye